Tony, guys, it's your boy Alex West Collects here, bringing you the most in-depth action figure views here on YouTube. And today we're taking a look at Jazzer's AW Unmatched Series Nine, featuring Wheeler Yuta, Claudio Castanoli, and John Moxley. If you are interested in picking up any of these figures, they are now available and shipping from RingsideCollectibles.com. And you guys shop to use promo code for life to save ten percent off your order at checkout. So a pretty stacked wave, I will say, with Unmatched Series Nine. Wheeler Yuta coming. This is the first version we're getting without the blood. Remember, we have that Ringside Collectibles uh, bloody exclusive he does come with the pure championship belt as well as the soft goods shirt i see a lot of soft goods here it's kind of funny that they went with uh the bcc uh, as half of this set uh but they all have black soft goods on underneath and i hope to god none of these torsos are stained the first claudio aw figure we are getting i guess technically the ring of honors the version was the first one that was an exclusive, the first mainline release here he does look pretty awesome. And I'm pretty stoked about this Moxley. I will say in the box that head sculpt looks pretty awesome with a hoodie. It does come with the AW Championship belt. You will see he does have the camo pants underneath. But for your packaging, you get the standard unmatched look with the silver foil on the top. You get the blue background with the image of each wrestler here on the front. Let's flip over to the side. You will see the AW logo. Flipping all the way to the other side, you will get the AW logo, the images of each wrestler, and the figure number and series. On the back, the awesome larger images, the action shots that we all love from the AW line, as well as the other figures from the wave. Let's come back. We're going to crack all these figures out of the packaging and see what they're all about. Starting us off, we are taking a look at Wheeler Yuta out of the packaging. So his accessories do include a set of the more open hands. You also do get the two fisted hands that come on the figure. Additionally, you will get the Ring of Honor Pure Championship belt here. It does have a nice kind of back finish to it with a silver. I do like the detailing on this belt. We have seen it before, uh, but it's a nice bonus added here with Wheeler Yuta. You also do get this BCC uh, cloth shirt. Uh, I will say I did cheat. I did remove the shirt off of the figure. And there actually was no staining that I could see. I know a lot of uh, times we do have, uh, you know, concerns or issues with Jazzwares and their product, uh, especially when it comes to these black t-shirts or soft goods where it stains, um, you know, the figures. But uh, no issues here from what I can see. But let's take a quick look at the shirt off of the figure. Again, I just feel like these shirts are a little too thick, thicker than I, I'd like. Same with even the Velcro on the back. Uh, but that shirt doesn't look bad. It fits him pretty nicely. And you can see on his torso, there is no staining that I can see. If there is any, maybe it's really... Okay, maybe I, I take it back. There's some slight, slight, slight staining here on his shoulder. But it's nowhere near what we used to get. So uh, this figure actually... Okay, there's a little more in the back. So I guess I spoke too soon uh, doing a quick uh, once over of this figure. But... Um, you know, they, he did come wrapped really well with, you know, a lot of that plastic wrap, which, um, you know, didn't really show too much through the figure. His arms are wrapped up top with it. Uh, so is his lower abdomen. Actually, all of these figures were uh, with Claudio and uh, John Moxley. Uh, so, uh, you know, what? I'm, I'm pleased with the results that at least uh, you won't have that issue. But uh, I guess I was wrong. There is just some slight staining. The head sculpt, I will say, sits a little high. I mean... You can see how he, he definitely has a little bit of a giraffe neck. I do like the torso choice for him. Um, but I just feel like his neck or his head sits a little high on that neck if you guys can't see it. But the sculpt looks pretty good. I see a decent likeness to Wheeler Yuta. I do like the expression on here. I do like the hair the way it's sculpted. It looks pretty good. Um, if you guys want to get a quick close-up of it, you can see the likeness here to Mr. Wheeler Yuta. I actually think it looks pretty good. Uh, taking a look at his attire now, you will see he does kind of have the blood splatter with the BCC logo. Uh, white pants with the kind of blood splatter on both sides. Got the logos. Take a look at the back. He does have kind of like a little bit of a black kind of cut on the bottom of his, his pants. You can see the black boots here. So this looks pretty good. I mean, my only gripe I'm going to say is how the head sits on the body. But I think all in all, they did a pretty good job here with Wheeler Yuta. Moving on to the second figure from this figure review, we are taking a look at Claudio. So his accessories do include a set of interchangeable open hands. I will say these hands look a little on the smaller side compared to how big this figure looks. He does come with the fisted hands on the figure itself. Uh, additionally, you get this awesome uh, Blackpool Combat jacket. You can see the logos here on the side. Uh, we'll see the Blackpool Combat logo there on there as well. 
Uh, looks pretty good. I do. I really do love these jackets. Look at the designs on there. They look really good. I feel like I do like the nice stretchy material, similar to what we got with like the CM Punk hoodie. It's just that they always stain the figure. Um, but again, I did cheat, and there is some slight staining on this figure. Very slight. Again, we've seen it way worse in the past with Jazzwares. Let's get this off of the figure. Don't want to rip uh, the hoodie itself. Be careful. I've actually actually uh had an issue where i went to remove this off of a cm punk figure and i actually ripped the sleeve so i've always learned to be careful now with these jazzers hoodies um but let's take a look at it off of the figure real quick if you guys were curious to see it it looks really nice no complaints man this came out really nice and clean it's just a shame you will not be able to display him with it uh but you will see he is massive i mean he is a big dude i know He's definitely got some size, but he looks like he's Kane here. I don't know. He's just a giant figure. Again, if you got to take a quick uh, uh, once through, you'll see some slight, slight staining here on his shoulder, but nothing too egregious. And I just, listen, I, it shouldn't stain, period. You can see a little bit here too, but like steps in the right direction. This was also wrapped really good. His arms, his lower torso, just like Wheeler Yuta. So, I mean, this is... You know, obviously, I, not ideal, but again, like I said, step in the right direction. I'll take what I can get from Jazzwares. Uh, but, uh, you know, Claudia looks really good. I do like the torso choice. He is a pretty jacked guy. He does have the chest hair as well as the stomach hair. So that came out really good. I will say the head sculpt itself, I don't know if I'm the biggest fan of it. I can see the likeness, but something about his eyes or something. It looks like he's got, like, eye makeup on or something around his eyes. Um, if you guys can't see that there. Uh, I feel like that could have been a little better, but I do like the beer, the five o'clock shadow, uh, the kind of little bit of hair he's got left on his head. So looks pretty good. I, I did not pick up the Ring of Honor figure again. That was just out of my wheelhouse. I never really watched the Ring of Honor products, so I never got into it. But, you know, I've always loved him when he was in WWE as Cesaro. I feel like he never got uh, the push he deserved. Um, so happy to see him thriving in AEW. But you can see, again, the chest here. Taking a look at his beautiful tights, man. You can see a nice kind of coloring with the black here. Got the logos. Um, same on the other side, going around the back. Uh, his boots look really nice, too. They are really long. Uh, you can see he does have some gold here on his lower kind of like knee pad area. And you can see the boots, just some nice kind of gold trim to it. And these are actually sculpted here on the design. Uh, you can see the white, I guess not white sole, but the white trim around it. Looks nice and clean. You can even see the black laces here. So I really do like how these came out. Uh, again, he is really big. That's my only complaint. And uh, the head sculpt could be a little better, but I'm actually pretty happy with the way this turned out. For a quick Cesaro or Claudio comparison, we have the Elite 47 figure here. Uh, this is probably my, still my favorite Mattel Cesaro that they've ever made. Uh, I really wanted to love that Elite 93, but he had that kind of weird uh, bigger crotch piece with a smaller torso and the bigger shoulders that wouldn't really let you articulate it. Um, but you can see, again, the size difference, how much bigger he is. I will say I do like the Mattel skin, even this is a little bit of an older head uh, compared with the Jazzers one. I feel like they captured it a little bit better the likeness uh but if you i did mention kane earlier so let's bring a mattel kane in just to show you his height i mean he's a little shorter than uh a mattel kane who's what about seven feet tall so you can see how big uh this claudio figure is Moving on to John Moxley. So accessory wise, you do get a bunch of interchangeable hands. You will see he does come with the more open hands here. He does have some tattoo detailing on here as well. Looks like a letter R and his, I guess, wedding ring tattoo. Uh, same on the other hand here. Uh, this kind of tripped me out for a second. When this hand fell out of the package, I was like, no way. He comes with a middle finger. I was like, how come they didn't advertise it? I don't know why my mind just thought middle finger. Maybe I just really want one for um, some AW figures, but he comes with a pointing finger. Uh, random. You only get one. You don't get the set and like i said i don't like the you know odd number of hands we get five sets he comes with the fisted hands here that are on the figure additionally you do get your aw world heavyweight championship belt we have seen this before has the nice vac finish to it and i am loving this hoodie it is the same material as uh um claudio i was gonna say cesaro claudio's hoodie nice stretchy material but look they got the little ties here on the front i don't know if you guys can see it, it looks really nice some nice added detailing and this head looks freaking spot on like so good i really do like the way this came out man just kind of removing the hood i will take a closer deep dive uh, on that but take a look at the back of the hoodie forged in combat you got the aw logo this just looks really freaking awesome man it's like another uh next level on these you know, soft goods uh materials from jazzers but let's pop out these hands 
and we will remove the hoodie off the figure. Uh, like I said, I really do like the hoodies. I just always worry about them staining. Uh, let's take a look at it off of the figure. Again, I just love they added the little ties here on the front. It just adds something. I mean, it just like I said, it's just different. I really do like the the uh, the attempt here. And again, you see the Blackpool Combat Club logo, Forge in Combat on there as well. Let's get Mox all assembled again. We'll get all his hands back together here. So look at this head sculpt. My lord, this is just like perfect, like captures the expression that you would want. Unfortunately, mine has a little bit of some sloppy paint applications. I don't know if that will be able to come off. I don't really want to screw with that now and kind of ruin it. But this head looks really good. I do like the hair, even the sculpting to that. Uh, the expression, like I said before, the, the beard looks really nice. You can see the kind of fade in the hair, kind of like an orangey brown uh, kind of tint to it. Really do like the look of it. He does have the chest hair on here as well. Does have his forearm tattoos. Again, you get the tattoos on his hand. Uh, more tattoo detailing on the back here. Really do like the way this looks. Uh, the skin tone to me looks to be updated from some of his uh, prior uh, AW figures. I feel like he's got a little bit more of a tan now uh, with this figure than he did prior. Uh, here's going to be my big grip. Look at this crotch piece. I just feel like it looks so damn small. You can even see the ball joints kind of sticking out here and how these legs just... They don't look that nice, and that's a shame because this figure really did come out great. That's probably going to be my biggest gripe here. Uh, I and also I'm not seeing too much, some maybe slight seeing again on the shoulders um, with this figure with a hoodie on there. So it's a good chance that hoodie's going to un unfortunately stain it. Uh, but just like uh, the other three figures or two figures in this set, uh, he was wrapped really good. Just the, the wrap doesn't quite come up to the shoulders. I don't know how they would be able to work that in with these figures to avoid staining. I just feel like at this point, maybe just change the soft goods material you're using. But, you know, moving on to his pants, the camo look looks nice, but look at that. The aesthetic look of this crotch piece is like, it's just so small. Look at how small his butt is, man. It's just like scrunched together. Like, come on, man. Uh, it should be a little bigger. It should fill this out a little nicer. Uh, but I really do like the camel look. You can see the logos here on the front. We got the mock skull. Uh, different kind of like pockets here on the side. Similar to what we've seen in the past. It does have the combat boots. I really do like this figure. I really do. I just feel like um, that crotch piece really kind of like takes away from just a bit. For a quick AEW John Moxley comparison, so here we have the Unrivaled 5 figure. I did swap the head out. I forget what series that was from, but you will see uh, some added detailing with the chest hair, which was not originally on his older figure. The skin tone definitely has more of a tan. I think this tan looks a little more realistic than these, this kind of grayish uh, skin tone that we have been getting. Uh, the crotch piece looks to be, I want to say it's the same kind of mold, man. Uh, you can see the small kind of legs. I don't know, Just it doesn't look as bad on this one. I just feel like... You can really see the joints more so on here uh, than the original figure. Uh, this is a great sculpt. I think this new one really puts it over the top. I like it. Without a doubt, this is probably, I'm going to say, the best AW John Moxley that we've gotten. We also have a few different Dean Ambrose Mattel figures to compare with this new John Moxley. Again, AW has a bigger scale than the Mattel Elite figures, but you can see the kind of the evolution of his career here. One last comparison for you guys here. We have all of the BCC together. We have Wheeler Yuta. We have Brian Danielson, John Moxley, and Claudio Castagnoli. If you guys are enjoying this video review, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think of the brand new Unmatched Series 9 from AEW Jazzers. And if you'll be adding any of these figures to your collection. While you're at it, don't forget to turn on those notification bells to stay tuned to the newest action figure reviews here on my channel. My personal take on these three figures, I actually really do like them. This has been a solid set from Jazzwares. Uh, Wheeler Yuta looks great. I love his attire. I actually do like the way uh, the shirt looks uh, with the logos as well as the pure championship. My one gripe again, the, the head sits a little high looks like he's got a little bit of a draft neck but if you do keep the shirt on there uh that is not as noticeable uh claudio looks awesome i love his gear i love his hoodie the head sculpt could be a little better also on him uh, and he's also a little big for you know my perspective i just feel like he's got a little more size than i'd probably want as far as height um, I do like the torso choice. I do like that he's got the added chest hair. Um, and Moxley looks phenomenal. I, well, I doubt think this is the best uh, AW John Moxley. The head sculpt looks really good. Um, one gripe, I'm going to say that crotch piece looks really small, but you get all these nice interchangeable hands. Um, you do get the AW Championship belt. You get this awesome hoodie. Uh, and again, that head sculpt is just so money, man. I can't recommend this enough. Uh, but with this being the second and final video review of Unmatched Series 9, let's bring back all the figures from the set and rank them from my least favorite to my favorite.
Bring back the full set. We're going to rank them from my least favorite to my favorite. Uh, you know, just because the figure's at the bottom doesn't mean it's a bad figure. It's just my personal preference, uh, you know, based on how well the figure was executed uh, and how excited I was for it. Because obviously we're all going to be fans of uh, different characters, which are going to make us a little more excited to get a figure of them. So uh, let's get right to it. At the bottom, at number six, I'm going to go with Jamie Hayter. I really, it's that head sculpt. I just don't feel like they did her justice. Uh, the blonde on her hair just looks really sloppy. I do like her attire and the championship belt she comes with, but that's a big sticking point for me. I just don't really like the way that turned out. At number five, I'm going to go with Brian Danielson. Um, I'm still, I know I'm still out on the head. I don't know if I love it or hate it. I feel like I look at it from some angles. I'm like, all right, I see a good likeness to Brian. And then from other angles, I'm like, ah, what were they doing? It just looks so goofy. But he does kind of have that big cherry smile for the most part, right? Um, I will say uh, a lot of the, these figures in this set did have some like QC issues. And he did have um, some kind of paint smudging on his head. Mox had that issue. Obviously, Jeff Hardy with that missing freaking uh, hair on the front where the barber just went a little too deep on that fade. Um... But yeah, I, I think the head on Brian is kind of like, I don't know, I keep going back and forth whether I like it or don't like it. So I think for that reason, I'm going to put him more towards the bottom at number five. Number four, I'm going to go Wheeler Yuta. I feel like I really do like his gear. I like everything he comes with. It's a solid figure. I mean, I'm not the biggest Wheeler Yuta fan. I just really like how this figure turned out. You know, it just looks pretty solid. At number three, I'm going to go with Claudio. Uh, he looks great. I love his gear. I love the hoodie. I will say the head could be a little better. And I also do feel he's a little too tall, in my opinion. Uh, so I'm going to put him at number three. And number two, uh, it's got to be John Moxley. This figure is really awesome. It is, without a doubt, the best Mox we've gotten from Jazzwares. But how could you not go with Jeff Hardy at number one? It's his first AW figure, even with a QC defect. On both of my heads, if you watched my last review, very frustrating. Uh, I still really do love the figure. The colors on his tattoos just really just pop. He does have these like baggy kind of pants, which are really, you know... Uh, what I reminisce and uh, picture him wearing throughout his career. So uh, I really do like it. Even the, the, the earrings he has on there, just they did such a great job. So much love and care wins this figure. So without a doubt, I think you you have to put Jeff Hardy at number one. If you are interested in grabbing any of these figures, they are now available and shipping from ringsidecollectibles.com. And you got sharp use promo code for life to save 10% off your order. Before you go, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at Alex West Collects. Thank you again for tuning in. All your continued support. I really do appreciate you guys watching these video reviews. Um, and I will catch you all in the next one.